Es in Tenerife. I'm here outside Paloma Beach Gardens in the north end of, or is it the south end? It's the south end, south end of Los Cristianos, opposite the Up Experience, what's it called? Arona Gran. Shout out to Alan's homemade vlogs. He does some great stuff in there. If you haven't seen his vlogs, go and check them out. My name's Tim, if you're new to the channel. And uh, I go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5.55 in the evenings. And I go live nine o'clock on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday somewhere on the coast of Tenerife. If you want to come for a walk with me, sit back and relax. If you want to be here, go to timothydowd.com slash events and book a day. Today, we've had a guy booked called Prash. Some of you guys know him, Prash Super Travels. He's also a vlogger. He's on the island with his mum. Um, he said his mum might come, but he's just messaged me to say that she might not come today. So uh, it'll either be Prash and mum or Prash and me. And we're gonna go for a walk. Now, he does have a couple of mobility issues, so he's got a scooter. So I don't know if his mum comes, we'll be walking slow on the scooter. And if his mum doesn't come, I might be able to jump on the back. But uh, we'll see. I hope there isn't a second Paloma Beach in uh, Los Cristianos. <laughs> I'm also on um, Do Not Disturb now. So uh, I'm just going to check to see whether he's in a different Paloma Beach. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? That would be really interesting. Let's see who's on. I'll show you where I am. I'm at this Paloma Beach. Susan, have a lovely day. Gemma's on. Good morning. Joanne's on. Peter Henson's on. Gary Deb's on. Anne Marie Elton, how are you doing, Anne? And Flint's on. Good morning. You were first on Flint today. Uh, let me just go to here and make sure I get a uh, live chat. That's everybody. Make sure nobody's missing. Uh, So, Betty Hannigan's on, Ted Whitfield, good morning, and Mark Sweeney. Only one Paloma Beach in Tenerife anyway, there you go. So, I have messaged him, he said he's on his way, so he could have been in bed, we don't know. <laughs> cool dude. It's Craig, he's on, good morning, Craig. Keeping me sane. It does say Paloma Beach, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. There we go. Is there another entrance is another question, or is this it? Morning, Jackie. So um, the plan is that we're going to go across here to the uh, Arona Gran, and then we're just going to go down to the beach and then along as far as we can until we decide to have a coffee. And uh, then we'll have a ch chat with Prash. Ferrovial, ferrovial. Did you know that in Spanish, the double R, you have to roll it. So if you can't do the R, then they might not know what you're saying. So R. Oh, here he is. We're live, Prash. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. And mum's made it. Mum's made it. Cool dude, I was hoping for a lift. How are you? How are you? Ladies first. Oh, okay. Hiya, mum, how are you? Morning, you okay? I'm fine, thank you. It is Prash. Super you? Travels. I've already pushed your um, your channel. Oh, thank you so much. So, and look at the back of the t-shirt. Oh, hang on, here we go. Uh, it says birthday boy, because it's your birthday today, right? Yes, sir. Is it yes. today? Yes, sir. Yes. And it says super lift motivation and, oh, yeah, lift motivation, as I said, life. And YouTube, Prash Super Travels. There you go. Let's have a look at my t-shirt. Living with MS in Tenerife. Check this guy out. He's got good mates. Just bigging up your channel when I was... Uh, you were bigging up my channel? Thank you very much. On my way. Thank you very much. Take, Take my life in my hands. <laughs> and my logo on the back. Uh, hang on, let me turn you around. I've actually got... Uh, I'm trying to get used to You hold that. People. Happy birthday. You hold it. Oh, okay. Righto. Yeah, and just show me my logo. Oh, wow. There you go. And you can get these in the shop. Link down below. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Come check out that link, guys. You've got a perfect picture in the background. The background looks really nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. So I uh, said we'll go down to the beach and then we'll go along until we fancy yeah, a coffee, sure. yeah? Yeah, let's go. Cool, dude. Um, when we get over there and down to the beach, I'll stick a microphone on you. Okay. All right? 
Does your buggy go slow enough, does it? Oh, yeah. I'll be good. Cool yeah, days. Basically, I just found out uh, the gimbal that I brought yeah. uh, is meant to be the latest one, the Osmo 6, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't even do 4K 60 frames per second. Well, the thing is, the gimbal doesn't do anything. The basically what's happening is is you do have a gimbal uh, and you do have a, an app for the gimbal. Yeah, I've got the DJI uh, Mimo app, Mimo, yeah? yeah? Right. And that does 4K60. I, I actually couldn't see it on the option, but I have brought it with me. Maybe you can teach me later. I can teach you later. But the thing is, you can use any, um, you can use any app. Do you want to get past? Yeah. So you can use any app. So okay. I'm using the YouTube app now to go live. Oh, well, okay. Well, so you can just use the gimbal as a stabilizer. Obviously, yeah. if you want to use the buttons for recording and stuff. So what gimbal have you got? I told you what to get. It's the DJI SE. It's the simple, cheap one for yeah. 90 bucks. I thought, you know, I wanted to get the Osmo 6 because I'm going to be having this for the next four or five months. And then uh, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to purchase the... Uh, the DJI Action cam yeah. or the Pocket 3? Um, the Pocket 3, sorry. I've got to send mine back. Why? The flippy screen broke. Already? Yeah, it's wow. uh, apparently it's a, it's a, well, not a failure, but it's a, a known bug that they break. Right. So I'm without it for 45 days now. So that's where I got my hat cam on. Oh, wow. I just noticed that now, actually. Yeah, Mum's got a cam on his hat as well. <laughs> that is cool. So we're live, but we're also, you're going to see this on today's um, 24, what's it called? Loop, 24 hour loop. So oh, I've, start, okay. I've started doing a, a session called a 24 hour loop. Okay. And I do it every afternoon. Yeah. And it's basically my breakfast from this morning and my dinner from last night. Oh, right, yeah. I've seen these and a couple of things I do in between. Not a lot, just about 15, 20 minutes. But we'll see what we shall see. Cool dude. So let me just put this down here. There you go. And uh, I'm going to turn this off. When it stops blinking, it's done. All right. Uh, I'm going to mic you up. Yeah, lovely. Okay. Now, the mic is a... Um, Obviously, a wireless DJI. mic, DJI wireless mic. You know what? I actually bought the wrong mic um, last week. I, I went to a place called Entertainment. Do you don't have a, um, a pacemaker or anything, no? No, no, like no. There you go. Lovely, thank you very much. Right, so we should be able to hear you better now. Hey guys, hopefully you can hear me. Give them a sound check. Sound check, yep. So, right, so we'll show you where we are and then we'll walk around the corner. And then we'll do some, uh, how did you get on the clinic with the foot, says Siobhan. My foot, uh, it, she was very pleased with it. The toe was healed. All I've got to do now is regrow the nail. So she says I've not damaged the follicle or whatever you call it, uh, where the nail grows out of. So it should come back, but it'll take time. And she says, don't let it dry out, otherwise it'll die. And so I've got to keep it humid. So I've got to keep humid feet, which isn't really Appet nope. Appetitely, is it? Appetitely. So, Prash. Yes, sir. What a fantastic day, eh? Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. I was just telling them it's cooled off. It's 18 degrees now. It's the first time it's dropped under 20 degrees in a year. Wow. But uh, if you keep a bit further away, because... Oh, it's OK. You're not in it if you, it's too close. Eh? Right, OK. So, uh, yeah, so... Um, it, but it's the right time of year. We've been having it extra warm lately. But the question is, will it rain again, do you think, this week? Of course. We need the rain. We've, we've been having a drought over the past six to eight months. We've lost a lot of water. Yeah. Two or three municipalities have declared emergencies, so we want more rain. Yeah. I know, we, I know holidaymakers don't like to see that, but uh, we want to drink as well, don't we? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to show the people Good the morning. up experience. Morning. morning. Here we go. This is the Arona Grand. As I say, if you haven't seen the you shots the from Alan's on. homemade vlogs. So you can actually hear me. Don't on. forget they can hear you, yeah. Yeah. 
So when I'm, when you're a bit further away, you don't say that, Tim's. He looks fatter in real life. I wouldn't say that. Do I look fatter in real life? No. Good. You look just as beautiful as the first day I met you, sir. Wow, which was over on Las Vistas Beach, if I remember right. It certainly was. Uh, it was Outside just out... the Sun King. Yep, correct. And I've actually got a little present for you. Even though it's my birthday, I'm full of, you know, I'm always full of surprises. So <sighs> if you remember, I make these little mini bottles. And what I do is I bling them up. Fill on. them with schnapps. Sorry? You fill them with schnapps? Yeah. <laughs> cool, dude. On it. Yeah, so what I do is I get these little mini bottles, I put like loads of bling on them, and then I put positive motivational messages inside of them, and I just give them to people every single week. And I've actually just finished making your bottle five minutes ago. Wow. And I want to show the world your bottle, wow. which is in my pocket. I'm going to put it in the scooter so it doesn't drop. Okay. Because if it does drop, it's glass. And uh, Well, show us when we stop. Yeah, sure. So tell me your life story, Prash. Where were you born? I was born in the UK in Coventry. So Webby country. <laughs> Webby country. He loves Coventry City. Webby, if you're watching, hello to you. He'll, he'll be watching either now or later. He's actually here somewhere. Is he? Yeah, he's got to take his wife out to Los Cristiano somewhere. So I told him to watch the live. And if he's in oh, the I'd same area, he might swing by, he said. I just hope he doesn't sneak up on me and scare me. <laughs> So what I've always wanted to ask Prash, yeah. is Prash short for something? It is. Um, I only get called my full name when I'm in trouble. <laughs> so I, I always, you know, plus most people cannot, cannot actually pronounce my full name. So I've always just thought, you know, from a very young age, from, you know, just after primary school, everybody called me Prash and it kind of just stuck with me, you know. Now, apparently my name is to represent peace and my name is supposed to mean peace and harmony. I'm the complete opposite of that, guys. I don't believe that's true, but she named me. She's the one that named me. So you're going to tell us or not? Mum? You, well, you don't have to. It's, it's nice. It's a, when I want to know that what does it mean? Uh-huh. So I, I picked this name. Uh-huh. Mum, he wants to know my full name. Oh, yeah. Mum, second name, just uh, first name, Mum. Yeah, my first name, Mum. Yeah, Prashan. Prashan? Prashan. Yeah. Okay, that's easy to say. Most people still can't pronounce it. I think it's the way it's spelled. Well, you didn't say it because you can't pronounce it, right? <laughs> There's different ways of pronouncing it for some people. Um, I, I still go by Prash, but, you know, it's... Um, so if you're in trouble, I call you Prashan. I tell you what, if you say that, I would run a mile. <laughs> I do not want to be in trouble with Timothy Dowd. No way. And... Um, I don't want to pry and I don't really want to know it, but is super because your name has got super in it, like super or something like that. <laughs> it's a, you know what, it's quite a long story behind it. Um, we got time and this is what it's all about. Um, so Unless you don't feel comfortable explaining it. It's, so from a, quite a young age, um, quite a young age, um, you know, one of my uh, niece, um, from a very young age, she looked at me as one of her superheroes for the way that I am with people and stuff like that. And, okay. Um, she supported me at a very difficult time in my life and she used to say to me that you're, in my language, we, we use the word kaka. Kaka means uncle. And she used to also- Kaka means uncle? Yeah. yeah. Cool dude. You don't say that here, will you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just call you Uncle Tim for now. Um, I'm, I'm kaka Tim. <laughs> kaka Tim. <laughs> It sounds like some kind of DJ. Cack it uh -huh. in. Yeah, so basically... Uh... <laughs> you know, I, uh, I mean, I've always been a big fan of the Superman series and, you know, all the movies and Smallville. Um, I actually met a family once and their actual surname was Super. Okay. Uh, at one point, they literally said to me, we would love for you to be part of our family. And I'm like... Okay, a um, little bit hard because I've kind of got a family at the moment. Um, <laughs> you can never have so much family. <laughs> well, your family, so... There you, know, you go. And everything, is, everything that I stood for and it kind of become a natural thing to me and all my nieces and nephews now call me Super Kaka. Um, a lot super of Kaka? Yeah, Super Kaka. Our daughter used to be called that but for different reasons. Really? Well, yeah, because 
So what does caca mean in Spanish then? Uh, have a guess. <laughs> It's not a naughty word, is it? Hey, how's it going, guys? Good, good. We're going to get your back end, so give, give us a wave. Back, camera, uh, don't worry about it, give us a wave. I'm always Just say where you're from, what's your names? Scotland, Jackie and Linda. Jackie and Linda? Yes. From Scotland? Yeah. I remember you, I remember you, bald head. <laughs> you and about a million other bald headed Scotsmen. <laughs> I'm with you, mate, I'm with you. Speaking of a. Uh, Scotsman, can I just take this time to say a big shout out to somebody I look up to as well, um, uh, Kevin, a Scotsman from Tenerife, if you're watching. He sent me a very nice uh, audio a few days ago, so it was greatly appreciated. I'm going to let these people pass without being on camera. Hola, buenos días. Good morning. Unless you want to be on it live on YouTube. Patrick, turn your here we go. Here we got. We got 97 people watching already. So, what? What? What's your name? Hello. Patrick. You said that without moving your lips. Are you a ventriloquist? Give us a wave. Nine-month-old baby. Oh my God. And what's your names and where are you from? Matthew. Warrington. Warrington. Lee. 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 I. I grew up in Bury. Bury. Oh I. Bury. Oh. It, Oh, there you go. Enjoy, enjoy your uh, your stay. I am assuming you're on holidays. Yeah, it's his birthday yesterday. Oh, it was your birthday? Yes, Prash's birthday today. Yeah, so happy birthday, birthday for us. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Have a good day. I've just got the new T-shirt. See the back of it. Yeah. I just put birthday boy at the back of that as well, and then I put my YouTube channel on there as well. We're both YouTubers, and I look I look up to him. And now I'm on his channel. Cool dude. Yeah. Cool dude. What an absolute pleasure. Check out Prash, <laughs> check out Prash Super Travels as well. And not to forget living with MS in Tenerife. Just he's look, the, he's part just of the look for Timothy Dowd. Uh-huh. D-O-W-D. Brilliant. On YouTube. 106 people watching now. Oh, the little ones made There you go, popular. Patrick, you're famous. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. <laughs> off you, all you need is a couple of Doradas. <laughs> well, I'll get a few of them today. Uh huh. See, I've always been, when I book apartments or hotels, you know, when I book my flight, I never book a, a package because I need to make sure the places that I go to are uh, disability friendly, yeah. especially for mum and our scooter. I'm going over here to sit down to read the. Uh, yeah, sure. The comments. Buenos dias. So here we go. We've got a beautiful view here of the, uh, I can never say this, Patanki. The Patanki Club. So I'm going backwards. Simon, thank you. Oh dear. And Adam saying salam. And Adrian says, Oi, boy, yo, muyush. Uh, Dundee Derrickson, Simon Farrant, Roger Channing. How's your toe? I'll give you the update on the toe in a minute. Uh, morning, Anne. Love to see you and Tricia dancing around Hoppies on Shelley's Live last week's assignment. Margie Duran says, enjoy the weather, Tim. It's freezing in the ook. Uh, okay, we got... Oh, Webby's on, I think. Oh, I was just going to ask you that if he's on. Uh, morning, all. Webby and chat off out soon to meet Dawn's good friends from England, Bomb. Uh, do you think you'll be here before 10 o'clock, Webby? Because uh, Prash would love to meet you. His mum says I can do without him, but Prash <laughs> wants to meet you. Morning, Tim. Loving your 24-hour loop videos. Cool, dude. I did some uh, special effects on, on yesterday's. I've got text floating in the air. How on air do you keep a humid foot? Yeah, I'll, tell, I'll show you. She's wrapped it up in about 15 bits of gauze and... Um, Basically, she says, don't let the air at it, which I thought was yeah. was a good thing. She says, it's got to be aerated. Uh, is that because of the infection? It's like they say, if, you have, if you're have if you out and about and if you do... No, it's not to do with infection, I don't think. It's to do with um, your nail regrowing. Right, so, okay. Because if the follicle dries out, ah, it won't yeah, grow a right, nail. Okay. So you've got to keep it humid for the nail yeah. to grow. It's got to be soft, you know. Okay. So Good anyway, morning. so I hope you're not having your breakfast. It's yuck in the ook, says the Lord. 
Webby says boom. As always. Boom. Good morning, Happy birthday, Webby. Precious Anne Marie. Gideon says good morning. Tim looks a lovely morning here. It's actually cooled down to about 18 degrees, I was saying. Let's go back, back, back. Webby, Craig, than what we've got in Coventry, I can tell and, you. And, and, and Mick Paxson, Judy Wade, Joanna, keep the foot and do that one. Everton says, stayed in Arona Grand last October, did a charity walk with you and Webby and the Scotsman. Oh, we remember, we remember. Jay saying, Tim, why don't you drink the seawater? Because you go crazy drinking seawater. And you get scurvy. Uh, hit the like button so it's free. JBM says, and Prash probably starts off with DJI Osmo action because it's going it's going to better and much easier for you. I think what I've got at the moment... Uh, the DJI moment. action is like a GoPro. So what I've got is I've got, uh, I've got this one and this one. This one is the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. And this one is just a tripod. However, it extends to 70 inches. Oh, wow. So that is unbelievable. Uh -huh. Hey, you can walk, it's a miracle. A little bit. It's a miracle. Got a little bit of a wobble every now and then, but because uh, a few years ago I had, uh, I've had two surgeries. So within 15, 20 minutes of walking, I do get a lot of pains in this section. I've got half this cut out, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, also as being a delivery driver, I drive on average about eight to 900 miles a week, and that's an absolute minimum. And um, also going upstairs with heavy deliveries, it's, it's, had, it's taken its toll on my knees. So that's why the scooter only ben it benefits me and mum. So as for those of you who don't know, mum is partially sighted. So one eye's completely gone. And the second eye is, she's just had surgery actually. Aye, aye. She's just had surgery. So the good thing is now she's able to see faces. Now before the surgery, when, if you remember when we met she yourself. She thought you were good looking before she got the surgery. <laughs> So what happened was when we, um, when we met Tim for the first time, it, it, my mum was really down because my mum couldn't actually see Tim very well. I mean, I feel sorry for Just her now. Just imagine I look like um, a taller version of Tom Cruise. Pretty much. People used to say, um, I look like David Soul. As you can see guys, this is pretty big. But I'm his brother ass. Yeah, guys, I thought this would be a great idea, especially for some of the shots that I'm planning uh, with this channel. Um, so, yeah, like I said, guys, mum is partially sighted. And uh, as you guys know, I have hidden disabilities. So having not only the scooter, but having a channel where we can talk about our hidden disabilities, it helps other people when they come on holiday. It helps them to realise that despite your disabilities, go and enjoy your life, be the best, best you can. I never thought I'd be a YouTuber, but now look at me, you know, I'm, I'm truly grateful for this opportunity to be a part of Tim's video. Hey, you know, no problem, my friend. I help everybody. In fact, most of the people I've helped are beyond me now. Who's that then? Loads of people. Hola, como estas? Estoy disfrutando el vivo. So Jay's saying, how are you? I'm enjoying life. And Webby's pushing his own channel. Two great golf videos on my channel today. 2 p.m., uh, 12 p.m. and 4 p.m. The 12 p.m. one's Webby, doesn't look in the camera. Yeah. And the 4 p.m. one's good because it's not his. It's Alan's homemade vlogs. If anybody does see me later on in uh, Las Cristianas or a decky or wherever, just look for the back of the T-shirt and you'll see not only my channel, but my birthday boy T-shirt as well. Cool dude. All right, let's carry on. Siobhan's saying it promotes regrowth. There you go. I, gotta I keep, love that. I gotta, love that. Got to keep my head humid. I've got to round. I've got to keep my head humid. Might promote a bit of regrowth there. Cool dude. Hat cam. So we've got the hat cam on now. So if you're watching the 24 hour loop, this is what I do in the mornings. I go for a walk with my gimbal and my phone and my DJI mics. Tim, how's that put on? How's the, uh, how's the camera put on? Is it a magnet or...? Uh, yeah. Wow, that is super cool. Guys, I kid you not, I think Timmy Zidowd is pretty much the biggest tech guy that I know in Tenerife. Out of all the bloggers that I've met in my life, when I first seen him and all that tech, I'm thinking, oh my God, how would you fit all that in your bag? What bag? This little bag here? Because last time I seen you, you had quite a big tripod as well, didn't you? Yep. 
what I do is I decide what I'm going to do and just take what I need now. Yeah. Don't get run over by press, says Jay. Don't, you won't yeah, run me I'm, over. I'm a good driver. You're a good driver, Larry. Michael Hüpfner says, good morning, Timothy. Greetings from Michael. Unbelievable sun is shining in Germany. There you go. Nice. 25 minutes, we're on, 124 people watching. Wow, that's amazing. 50 thumbs up, thank you so much. Store by the Shore used to do pies. I don't know whether they still do them. Oh, they do. They do? Last time I was here in November, um, I walked in and had a little chat with them, see what they do, and they've got an amazing choice of different pies and pasties and pork pies and stuff like that. Because they uh, stopped selling pork pies, the imported ones, from, oh, really? uh, from what's it called? Yeah. From uh, Iceland, well, overseas now. The Iceland, they've still got one here, haven't they? Don't... Yeah, I think they're all called overseas now. Ah, right. So guys, as I was uh, mentioning before about um, Mom's eyesight, now what's amazing is, um, Mom, when did you have your eye surgery? It was about four months ago. So since she's had the surgery four months ago, what happened after was, I think within a few hours after the surgery, she was able to go out. Yeah. And I decided, what better way to test the eyesight surgery than to go to Wales? So we took her to Wales and... And I left her there. And if she finds a way back, she can see. <laughs> we uh, gave her the biggest room in um, Landudno. It was the Grand Hotel. What do you say? Uh, the Grand Hotel in Landudno. Where's Landudno? I can't pronounce it. Uh, Landudno. There we go. Landudno. I, I can never pronounce that. Land is church. Landudno. And this is where we stayed last time, Tim. Uh, just behind... Koala Bay, cool. They're behind it. All right. Can you see the... Uh, you've I, got... The Guaya, top one. Uh, Estrella. Yeah. La Estrella. Uh, but we've also stayed at Guayero. However, guys, I'm just saying this from my own experience. If you're going to stay at Guayero and you do go with the gentleman on Booking.com, I would say just be very, very cautious because he's extremely aggressive. And we had, a, we had one of the most traumatic experiences. And... Right, hey. Hi, mate. How's it going? Chris. How are you? How are you, mate? Nice to see you. Yeah, You've okay. gone from Paloma Beach to, to come to us. I woke up and I've seen you coming from Paloma Beach. I remember you saying you were going to Paloma Beach. Yeah, yeah. Get back. So I woke up. All right. Straight up, straight out. Oh, well. Hey, oh, lovely to meet you. Yeah, you too, mate. You too. How's your day been so far? Yeah. That's my mum. Good. Nice Hello. to meet you. Nice to meet you. But you're all staying in the same place? Paloma Beach, yeah. Yeah. It's You're right, more than yeah. happy to have a beer with me any time. Just yeah, give me absolutely. a shout, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem at all. be a pleasure. I oh, like the haircut. Oh, thank you very much. Beautiful. And the beard is done as well, nicely, <laughs> eh? I need, a, I need a haircut as well. I just wanted to look as good as Timothy Dowd, but, you know... Timothy Dowd. You're using my full name again now. Are you in trouble? <laughs> People only get called their full names when they're in trouble, right? What is it? Prashnam <laughs> Supranamanam. It's nice, Paloma Beach, though, isn't it? It's, it's gorgeous. It's a big upgrade from Aguamar. Big. I love the, uh, the pool because it's heated, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. I think it's... Is it 7 o'clock that they close? Because someone yeah. said six and someone said seven. I wasn't sure who to believe. So, yeah, the pool is heated. It's, which... it's six. It's definitely still at one six. Yeah, it's quite nice, actually. And uh, so, are you on the which floor are you on? We're, we're second floor. We had the second floor last time, Mum. You know, like, yeah. the entrance when you walk in? Yeah. We're basically just second floor, just at right. We yeah. get quite close to end of it. OK, yeah. So, we've, we've got... Uh, What's the view like? Well, we can see sea, And if we turn the other way, you can just see Paul in corner. Oh, it's nice. It's unbelievable. Kitchen's fantastic. So you've got a perfect choice of views then? Yeah. You got, wow, that's amazing. We've got like an L-shaped settee. Yeah. 42-inch telly. Wow. Uh, kitchen, big full-size fridge freezer. Oh, that's what, yeah. Yeah. Beer. I'm going to fill that up with beer. Some, I'm going to fill it up with some beer later on. I yeah. like fasting with this. I like to know what the kitchen like. It's lovely. Yeah, we couldn't believe it. Because I like to cook. You, you could live there. It, it's like you could live there. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, people do. It's yeah. illegal lets for holiday makers. It's a problem. Yeah. Another nice place is the Australia building just behind there, behind Koala oh, yeah, Bay. Yeah. We stayed there. We, we normally stay there every year, but then we said, let's try Paloma Beach, give it a try, see what's Am it's I frozen? Like. And uh, yeah, we stayed at Paloma Beach and we loved it. But the Australia building is absolutely top notch. However, Guayero Apartments next door. I'll be saying very, very cautious if you're going to stay there. Be careful. Are you coming with us, Chris? We're going to get a coffee. Uh, yeah, can do. Yeah. yeah. Well, for those who don't know, this is Chris Godfrey. He's staying in the uh, he's staying in the Paloma Beach as well. He hasn't booked a walk with me, so he's coming for free today. Walk up, seen him. 
just coming for free today. I'll uh, I'll get your credit card information in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, what I'll do is I'll give you my WhatsApp as well. Yes, mate. Yes. And then you can definitely have a drink. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Yeah, so if you're you see that? Boy, Aero, Timothy Dowd, people, star of the show, courses, getting people together. One of the owners there. We had a traumatic We can still hear him. We, had, we had to run, literally run. Are they talking um, about me? The yellow building next to the Australia. Oh, they're saying uh, that. Do you know Tim's where the blue bar is? Yeah. If you look two o'clock towards the blue bar, you'll see a yellow building. Oh, there's a shower room too. Cool, dude. Uh, how did Paddy's day, how did Paddy's day go for you? Now, this is this is the uh, this is the only scouse paddy I know. The cleaning to be done, and your and your daughter was interviewed as well by um, it was it Cole, was it? Cole came round. Cool, so dude. We only had, we it's down here, is it? The only thing that was so which which shop is it? This bad, one, but it was like one or two carry bags. Oh, down here, okay. And maybe the odd receipt or something like that. Oh, live entertainment. Uh, okay. What happened was this gentleman. Okay, I'm going to have a walk down here. Even though like, guys, like I'm going to walk down here, thing. but we can still hear you, okay? Yep. So we can still hear you, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. So just uh, chill out for a second while I do this. Okay. In eight weeks. <laughs> and it's sort of wheelchair friendly, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to come up drunk. It helps you though. Yeah. Going downstairs. Oh, cheers. Same as Shamrock. Okay, cool, dude. And you're out to sit outside as well? Yeah. Oh, this is going to be you as well? Yeah, And how do you get in there? You don't. Oh, you don't go in there? Okay. Point. And you're going to be serving outside, or you're going to be bringing up from downstairs? Yeah. Eight weeks time. Any food? Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. I've forgotten your name. Richie, of course. Scouse Irish. Brilliant. Okay, I can still hear. You. Doesn't matter if you do that. Oh, does it not? No. Oh, is the signs going up? Is it? <laughs> Hang on, let me get the sun out of, the, out of my face. The Shamrock Sports Bar. There you go. There you go. Cool dude. I'll send you the bill for the advertising. <laughs> Gonna be at least a Guinness, isn't it? Right, coffee? Yeah. Let's go to the corner. Should we get the corner? Yeah, it's a nice sure, place. Yeah. <clears throat> and of course, for all your um, excursion needs, let's go to Tenery First Excursions. <clears throat> Here's the lads and lasses. Good, thanks. Early today. We're going to go for a coffee. I'll see you on the way back. Snorkeling with turtles. There you go. I didn't know turtles snorkeled. <laughs> Somebody said my one line is a bad, so I'm, I'm up in my game now. Went to my granddad's house last week and uh, take his dog for a walk, you know, because he can't walk very much. He says, don't forget to take poo bags with you. I said, all right, come on, Gran. Oh, my God. Kim. I stole that off Gary Delaney. If you like one-liners, go and watch Gary Delaney's show. Or Tim Vine. Oh, I've heard of Tim Vine. So, Prash, where were we up to on your life story? Um, let me think. I've lost track. I got, I got caught up in all the excitement of this video and I just completely forgot. But um, So, where did you go to school in Coventry? Uh, I went to a place called Edric uh, Primary School and believe it or not, my mum used to work at the same school. And I felt her pain to not only deal with me at home, but to deal with me... Oh, you, while uh, she were there? Yeah, she worked there. Yeah? yeah. Mum, tell the world. A dinner lady. God, I love my dinner I ladies. Fed. I would have loved you to be my dinner lady. I was dinner lady and well as lollipop lady. Don't taste 
I always wanted to be a lollipop man because you don't start work till you're 65. Uh huh. And home time, ten past three. I used to go back again. Children, children go home ten past three. Uh huh. And then I finish three forty. Cool days. Only half an hour job. Yanks. I used to do a lot of running around. You know, very, very bad, horrible weather. I can imagine. Yeah. And she also did a cleaning job at night as well. I used to do three jobs. Wow. Not if I sent a pint, but only takeaway only. There we go. That fooled me, that did. Last time I seen that. And it's not a pint either. 450 or 400 mil? 400 mil. Wow. It's all ladles and jelly spoons. I've been remiss in reading your comments. Siobhan saying, what's a great lady? Uh, BHXM Admi, Sky Blue Army, whatever that is. Jim Merriott, morning Tim, it's been a bit, but nice to see you still doing the walks. Hope you're both well, we are, Tim. Um, Sky Blue Army? Uh, I know what Sky Blue Army is, I was pretending. David Butler's on, morning Tim and Prash and viewers. I'm David. in the background having a shower. Oh, we'll never get that picture out of our minds, will we? <laughs> JBM, welcome to the live, hit the subscribe, there you go. Can I just ask, is anybody watching from Coventry or any Coventry uh, City supporters? Love the shirt, says Siobhan. Do a lot of people call you Tim? Well, those people who know my name usually call me Tim. So, Chris, you're here for three weeks? Um, 11 nights. 11 nights? 11 nights. I thought you were here for three weeks. I wish. I wish. <laughs> you're not on your Todd, no? No, with the on again. Okay. But she only waves from balconies, right? Yeah, she's in bed. She, yeah? She didn't have to come out. Well, I don't blame her. She, I'd stay in bed if I could. She was still asleep. Hey, up. Prash is on the... He's in second gear now. <laughs> Go and get us this nice spot in the shade in the corner bar there. Or any bar you fancy. She'll probably guess... And we can still out. hear you. Mm -hmm. She'll probably guess I've come to meet you. <laughs> Oh, you didn't wake her up before you left? I tried to make up on You remember last time? I, I did. Yeah. I did say, I woke up, saw you were on. So I remember last week you were saying you'd done lost Chris quite a lot. Uh -huh. So I thought if I was going to have to come and meet you, I thought you'd be in a deck here away. So as soon as I saw you were in Paloma Beach, I was like, right. Let's go I, for it. Yeah. I've been here every day. Have you? Yeah. Lovely place, isn't it? Yeah. Look, they know you then. So can you just say the usual now? No. <laughs> All right. Ladles and jelly spoons. So, let's do this. Oh, let me set this up. You all right, Mum? Yes, thank you. Mum, this way. Shame I could come out last week when Colin everyone. Yeah, that was, a, well, that, was, that was fun. Because I talk to Colin all the time on like messenger. Okay. Never met him. You know? No. Tall lad he is. So, I'm just going to grab that mic off you, Prash. Yeah, sure. I'm just going to ask a few questions of uh, Chris. Okay. You don't have a... Uh, no, mate, no. Uh, what's he called here? Oops, do this. I got, I got um, sat around the pool all day yesterday. I've got a right. Burns. Burns big time. Oh, you did? Yeah, see it from shirt. They can. <laughs> <laughs> Cool dude, there's the camera if you want to say hello. Hi guys. So we're at the corner bar in nice Los Cristianos. Yep. yep. A nice yep. bar. And um, we're going to have a coffee. And then we're going to chat back with Prash and Super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's got a present for me, so I'm going to get oh, that. Excellent. I don't have a present for him, nice. even though it's his birthday. Well, you know, if I can just say, um, I'm truly really grateful for what you've done for me, with, not only with your messages and all the stuff like you know all oh the you time. can have you can have those presents every day mate so, I tell you. Uh, it's for me the biggest gift of all would be time 
having time with people that you love and appreciate. I'll give you five minutes, how's that? Extra five minutes. <laughs> okay, Chris, you got the mic. Yep. So, um, for those people who don't, didn't see the last one, yeah. we're not allowed to talk about your job, are we? No, you can do, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it's boring. Yeah, what do you do? Um, we sell um, TVs uh, and white goods. The, uh, the TVs goods. have usually got this, this mush on it. They have, oh, yeah, yeah, one big screen. Yeah. I put him on every morning. <laughs> um, but we now start at half past nine. So you should, I used to be able to watch you like from nine, but I All get right. to work at half past nine, put him on. All right. Um, well, we when on the clocks go screens. forward, I yeah. might start going at 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That'd but I'm good. not sure yet. I've got to talk to Chris. We, um, the one I watched him on is 98 inch Samsung. I'm on Massive. I watched him on my projector. Yeah. And my projector is 78 inches across and five foot nine in height. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, they won't be able to hear you. Because oh, okay. I've got directional mics on. We, well, sell, we sell projectors, uh, but this one I watch on is a, is a screen. Proper so TV. we're not allowed to talk about the job, but we can push the... Oh, yeah, I just want to talk about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, we can push the shop. So where do we go to buy the best TVs from the best salesman? Crampton and Moore. Crampton and? Moore. Moore, M-O-O-R-E. Yeah. But our shop's moved now from oh, Sheffield to Rotherham. Wow. Because it's bigger. And we've got a bigger warehouse. Don't they rob more from Rotherham? No, it's, it's quite. It's, is it all right? Yeah, where it is, there's um, there's a Boeing. They make Boeing parts. All right. And there's um, like Jim Boeing. There's a Rolls Royce from factory just behind it. They make Jim Boeing parts. Oh. <laughs> I keep out of the black and in the red. There's nothing in this game for two in a bed. Do you remember that, Jim Boeing? Don't remember it. Bullseye. <laughs> Bullet. Oh, I'm getting old. I was now, young when that was. I'm on. getting old. No I would say 85% of the viewers will remember it, and everybody else is too young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How old do you think Mum is? Uh, I would say she's 21 in a few months. <laughs> <laughs> and don't ever ask me out that again. <laughs> right, I do not delete any messages. Someone else is messing here. Oh dear, who's messing? Who delete? Alan Brickle was hidden by David Butler. There you go. It is common, the 400 milliliter pint, Tim. Never knew that. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's not a pint, is it? I mean, it's 400 mil. They don't don't even do 500 mil, which is more than a pint. I think a pint's 400 and... A pint is 500. All oh, right, a British pint yeah. is more than an American pint, isn't it? There you go, because the gallons. Oh, okay. Well, the gallons less, right? So the gallon of gas and a gallon of petrol are different. Are different. And because there's uh, how many how many pints in a gallon? Eight. I don't know. Anyway, it's uh, uh, probably a bushel and five pecks or something like that. I don't know. And it's as long as a chain. So we'll use anything but meters and centimeters and to, to measure, won't we? So can't beat a bit of bully. There you go. Look what you could have won. There you go. Uh, I did not delete any messages. Oh, now that you, now someone's mentioned that, I just, now now I remember it. Now I remember it. Okay. That could just go back a few years, though. I can tell you that much. That makes me feel older. I don't know how it makes him feel. Um, David Butler, if you're not deleting messages, that means somebody's hacked your account, or somebody. So, just to make sure, David Butler. I'm afraid I've had to take your spanner away. Just temporarily. Because if it's not you, then keys it's somebody are a bit else. Nightmare, aren't they, keys? And, uh, You've got like two, um, two doors to go through, haven't you? You've got your door and then the fence gate thing. It takes 10 minutes to get into the room. <laughs> then basically, I'm going to have to take everybody's spanner away if somebody's deleting. One there. Okay, somebody has hacked me. Not guilty. Sorry to Alan Brickle on chat. David deleted in error. Well, which one is it? You didn't delete it or you deleted it in error. Anyway, you, your spanner's gone for now. I think there's a tad slow at the corner bar. Then again, I have no patience. They usually are quite quick, to be fair. Um, well, I mean, there's, there's, lo there's the loads of people here. Yeah. Not. Nah. <laughs> maybe maybe they're not open until ten. What time is it? Quarter two. Hola. 
¿Cuándo abiertas? ¿Cómo que cuándo abiertas? A, a las 10, pero bueno, ¿quieren la carta? No, no, solo café. Vale. Café con leche y agua con gas. Could I have a Diet Coke, please, and a bottle of water? Jump with or without sparkling? <laughs> um, oh, the drink, oh, water. Yeah, water, sorry, Tim. Yeah, um, a flat, flat water. Agua sin gas y um, cola light. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, Fanta limon? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Yeah, we come here every day for frosty glass dorada. Yeah. They're ice cold, there's literally ice in them. Beautiful. Let me just sit. Down, down here? Yeah. Girlfriend Dion, she goes to the beach till about three o'clock. Yeah. And then I meet her here. Because I, I can only sit on beach for an hour, I get bored. Yeah. And then I get bit, I get burned, so we don't want that. And then he gets burnt with a, a dorada glass. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of focuses on the chest area, yeah. and that's it, yeah. Yeah. So, Chris, what do you want to say before I set your mic back? Uh, no, just um, hi, viewers. Hi, everyone. Hello, Wish I could viewers. have come last week because everyone was here. Everyone was here. Marie, I know, Carl. I know, I know. I, I've met I've met Scott Scott's um, Scotsman Kevin. Saw yeah. him at airport last time I come. Okay. He were he was sort of scanning his hands and his face, mm. and I, I just shouted him across, and he had to come and stop doing it and shit me. I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry. And Dion's like, we God, leave him alone. I was like, I said, might not see him again. Oh, What's your missus called, Dion? Dion. Yeah. All oh, right, like in yes. Warwick. Yeah. There you go. So we're going to give uh, Prash the microphone back now, and uh, I'm going to move round to him. So we can be on camera I together. Actually, um, I, I, I feel bad for the way that I first disturbed Kevin. I mean, you couldn't have beat what I did. What I did was, um, I heard that he was on the island, like most people do, and he messaged me and he says, I'll definitely meet up with yourself for a drink. Yeah. And I said, oh, I really appreciate that. And then I happened to be drinking at a pub uh, near, Sher do you know Sheriff and Job? No. Um, Tim, do you know the Sheriff and Job restaurant? No. So um, there's a bar, um, it's an Irish bar that Colin goes to. What's it called? The Irish bar that Colin loves going called to. Called the Sheraton? Is that what it's called? It's just down here, down the road, like okay. less than five minutes. Corner one. Tiny little corner one. It's, you've got some stairs going up. Yeah. The Dal Fountain? No. I, I think it is, I'll point it out, it's just literally about a minute away from me, I'm going to go for a walk, I'll show you. But what happened was Kevin happened to be in the, same, in the restaurant that I was opposite. Right. And I'm just there having a drink, and I was meeting some of my subscribers and having a drink with them. Kevin texts me and says, oh, I'm just having a nice bite to eat. I'm like, where are you? Oh, I'm at this place called Sheriff and Job. And I looked, I'm like, wait, he's, at this, he's, he's right there. And then I just couldn't help it. I just had to get my camera. I thought, guys, I'm about to meet this Scotsman. I took my camera over there, and bless him, he's just trying to eat in peace. And I'm just like... I'm going to let you eat, but I just want to say it's lovely to meet you. I've just, I look, I've got starstruck. It's know? the price, it's the price of fame, Prash. How do you think I felt when I met you? It's the price of fame. I, I mean, I don't, I don't feel famous. I know people know me that I don't know them, and I think that's, that's, you know, they, they've seen me every day, and then I don't know them from Adam, right? And, um, and I'm great with faces, and I'm great with names. I just can't put them together, right? So I'll forget, I won't forget your name, but I won't associate who you are, right? Yeah. Uh, in fact, I would have forgotten who you were yeah. if you hadn't have said I'm behind you yeah, on, yeah. in the in the things. Yeah, you, so. meet, you meet so many people. Well, it's, it, and it's not that I've just got this. I, I, I know I've met you before, yeah. right? If I see your face. Pretty much exactly a year ago. Was it? Wow. Well, because we walked up to Agumar, didn't we? And then we went in. That's and right. Were up in, and, I, and she waved from afar. Yes. I've yeah. never met her. <laughs> Agumar, we stayed there once, didn't we, Mum? Yeah, you've done a video on it. Right? Yeah, we stayed, we, on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we stayed there once because we made the biggest mistake anybody can make on a holiday. Um, what, you catch your pants? <laughs> worse. Uh, <laughs> what happened was uh, we booked... In public? In the church? <laughs> no. <laughs> so basically what happened In was... the font? <laughs> God almighty. Sorry. So basically what happened was... Uh, as we were booking our flight and accommodation last year, uh, Mum kept distracting me, telling me, I just want to know how much it costs for, you know, like, next... Don't blame month. your Mum. <laughs> I'm getting... Don't <laughs> blame your Mum. Look, this is literally what happened. We were trying to book the apartment and flight separately. Much as got this. Cristal. Thank you. Muchas gracias.
No, it's okay. Yeah, so what happened was um, we just one wanted to have a look at how much the apartment was for the month after. Now, we'd already booked the flight. We were just about to book the apartment. But what happened was we were... Um, I was had to change the date on... Uh, was it Airbnb or Booking.com? I'm back on the sugar. Booking.com, was it? Yeah, so Booking.com. We changed the date just to have a look at how much it cost the month after. But because we were stuck in that conversation of how much it cost next month, we ended up booking it for one month. So we got to Tenerife and we realised when we got to the airport, um, we had booked a, a taxi company, I don't know what they were called, but we phoned them up and said, right, we're at the airport. And they said, sir, your booking's not till next month. I said, actually, sir, I think I'm not stupid. I know what we've booked. Yeah. We've booked it today, so get down here. And they said, sir, your booking is definitely next month. I said... So that just proves you're stupid, I suppose. <laughs> but it got worse. <laughs> Well, it's mum's fault, right? Hold on. She, because when I was doing the dates, right, when I was doing the dates... I love get... dates. Bacon. Wrapped <laughs> in bacon. God, I can't, I can't win, can I? So basically, well, we changed the date because mum wanted to find out how much it cost, and then it ended up sticking to that. Booking.com replied it. So we got here, we phoned the taxi company, they said, we're not going to help you. So you didn't have the flat either, then? N well, we were supposed to stay at Paloma Beach. Right. We booked it. And the but did you book it? Did you book the Paloma Beach right? Was it just the taxi you screwed up, or was it everything? You oh no, up? everything. So, so okay. how did you get here then? If the flight was the flight was fine, because we booked the flight separate. Separate, okay. yeah. Because I'm always cautious as to where I book uh, with packages, because I've got PTSD as well. Yeah. I, I need to make sure when I book places that it's friendly for me. Like, yeah. for mum it has to be flat area. For me, I need a place that's a bit more chilled out. Nothing like uh, near Veronica Strip or something. I need something that's quite calming for me. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. Um, because you're the only hectic person in the place then, right? <laughs> God almighty. Cal uh, calm down. We've got plenty of time. So what happened got was... eight minutes. So what happened, guys, is we phoned up Paloma Beach. We just said to the taxi company, you know what? We'll make our own way there, seeing as it's your mistake. We then got in the taxi, we phoned Paloma Beach and said, we'll just let you know that we'll be there in about ten minutes. And their response was legendary. Um, no, sir, you're... Booking doesn't look like it's uh, until next month, and you'll be here in one month and ten minutes. I'm like, come on, did you have to add the ten minutes? And we then got to um, Paloma Beach. They said, we are fully booked, we cannot do anything. We then went to the Apollo Centre. We went to Little India, uh, where my fr it's my friend's restaurant. And we could not look any more dodgy than we did, because we got in this restaurant all these luggages, and there's a big sign on the door saying, gone to India, or something like that. Yeah. So the guy, is, he's gone to India, we don't even know. We're in the middle of a pilot centre with all these bags full of all this curry powder that she brings. I kid you not, the amount of curry powders that she brings, red, yellow, I'm surprised the security's not stopped us. Yeah. You know, and we then went to Agumar. We asked Jack 2 what to do. Jack 2 said, we can bring you back today, or you can stay one night somewhere come back tomorrow, we won't charge you any extra. So we thought, okay, fair enough. So what happened was we um, stayed at Agumar for one night. Mum says, let's just get a bite to eat. I said, Mum, are you trying to say we'd come all the way to Tenerife to stay one night, have a bite to eat and come home? She goes, well, I suppose it's okay. And I, and I thought, okay. So what I did was I got Mum to sleep, most important thing, look after your Mum. Got mum to sleep, I went online, I called every person I can think of in Tenerife that I know. Managed to find a place called the Check-In Bungalow, do you know it? That place, gorgeous, 10 out of 10. I remember you calling me. Sorry? I remember you calling me. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah. That's when we were lost, we were thinking, what do we do? We went to Check-In Bungalows and uh, it was gorgeous. Scooter parking, but unfortunately now, guys, if you do book the Check-In Bungalows, unfortunately, they no longer accept scooters there because of all the damages. Uh, people have gone and got drunk and end up smashing scooters everywhere. And... What he's saying is, he's not allowed back. Did you get a taxi from the airport? Did you get a taxi from the airport to, to... Paloma Beach? Uh, yeah. How yeah. much? How much? Uh, 30 euros, man. Yeah, ours was 35. Man. Cost you 35? 35. Last time it was 28. I've got a question. You know on the taxi meters, it comes up as 28.75. Yeah. So do they just round it up? Is no. that? Because it said on the meter 28.75, then when I got out of the car, he says 30. And I gave him 30, and I said, he's not going to give me the change? He goes, no, 30. 
I said, yeah, but you meet us at 28. So how does it work here? It works here. As soon as you get in the taxi, there is a standard fee. The standard fee is three euros fifty or something like that, or four euros something if it's in the evening. Okay, so there's two different standard fees, and it's the one you see when you get in the taxi. Right. As soon as he starts rolling, you pay per kilometre. Okay. Or per waiting, but you're not really waiting. So it per kilometre. What then happens is they have the option at the end of the drive to add optional extras and yeah. there's buttons for it. One button is for going to the airport, right? Yeah. So if they go to the airport, they have to pay a fee, which they give to you. So every time you go to the airport, they'll press a button and it'll be the airport fee. Some people actually press that every time for tourists, right? It doesn't matter where you're going or where you've, where you've been, they'll just press the airport tax because that's it. Um, the other thing would be um, excess baggage, I think. They'll, they can charge for excess baggage or excess people. I'm not sure what it is, but I think there's one other button they can press. The only way to be able to avoid those fees is when you get in the car saying, I'm traveling for business, I need a receipt. And then they can only charge you what's on the meter and they don't do anything. That's a clever idea, So all you need to do says, I'm traveling for business, I need a receipt, yeah? And, uh, and then, but the thing is, and to tell you the truth, the taxi drivers don't get paid a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. So a mate of mine was a taxi driver, or yeah, well, he's, he was a taxi driver a long time. And he said, you cannot survive on a taxi driver's yeah. pay. So you've really got to live on tips and doing the old yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. And it's two to three euros a go, you know? Yeah. So what I would say is, stop moaning yeah. you know just yeah. pay him and give him an extra fiver yeah. you know you're on holiday yeah we're certainly doing when we've got the bars and restaurants right right so i mean the taxi driver a lot of people give the taxi drivers a stick but because they're working horrible hours for ship pay and um we met some friends yesterday and they got uh, they've come and met us here and they got a, they got an uber from basically beer garden yeah. in, a, in a decade yeah so um, Passerelle Centre. Right, 60 it was, euros or something. It was 25 euros. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, but Uber, good. you can get an Uber and they do, they charge the right price, but it's yes. twice as much as a taxi. I actually yeah. never knew you can get Ubers in Tenerife. No, I, I, I have seen it on, on YouTube. It's right. new and they're all top of the range Audis. Yeah, they were saying that. So can yeah. I still use the Uber app on my phone yep. from the UK? Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So that's useful, isn't it, Mum? Yeah. Right, um, as you guys know, um, I love making presents for people, so um, I've got a present for Tim, so not my printer, obviously, that's my Perry Page printer. Oh, right. Um, I thought I was getting a printer. That is your bottle that I've made this morning for you. Oh, wow. Look at this, ladles and jelly sprints. Can I hold that? Yeah. There you go. And uh, the good thing about this is... Can I shake it? Yeah. The good thing about this is the colours that I've used represent peace and tranquility. And also love, as you can see, the red hearts in it's, there. It says made with love. I don't know if, yeah. you, if it's focusing on that or not. So um, I make these Thank every week. Thank you so week. much, Fresh. Uh, I make these every week and I put positive messages inside the bottles, which Tim's about to get now. Yeah. And I'm going to let Tim do the honours. He's going to use it as an earring. Yeah. Is, is my hole gone? <laughs> I, I haven't put a, a... I think that will suit him, you know. <laughs> cool, dude. What's my so, message? I want you to press the print button for me in the top right hand corner. Don't get off the bus while it's moving. Bluetooth, yeah, that's on. And Perry Page. And second. Divici, connecting successfully. And put the print button on the bottom right. Oh, the print button on the bottom right. Yeah. Here we go. And here we go, guys. Look, Tim's message comes out, the printer. Let's have a look at what it says. It's just, just charge me credit card 5,000 euros <laughs> that's a big bill it's actually a big message because I take my time every week when I make these messages I write my own messages I don't like to copy anybody's motivational content I like to create my own so can I read it I was actually hoping Chris can read it to you I think that would be quite cool unless you want to read it yeah that's okay Oh, you read it, sir. All right. <laughs> I just thought he might get emotional and start crying, so I just thought, you know. Oh, come on. I thought he was going to smoke it's, it in a second. It's quite fancy writing, isn't it? Yeah. It says, Uncle Tim, wow, 
what can I say? Where do I start? You are an absolute blessing to know and a privilege to talk to. Ever since I started watching you, your, your channel, I never thought I'd be lucky enough to meet you and that one day during your life changed and impacted my whole life. Never let anyone tell you any different as to how amazing you are, unless it's better. Keep being awesome, cool dude, from yours truly, Prash Super. There you go. That is fantastic. Thank you so much, Prash. You're and most thank, welcome. And thank you, Mum, for having Prash. Welcome. I know it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> and having him was the easiest bit, right? It's dragging him up was the hardest bit. Let me tell you one thing about Prash. Let me, oh, just give no. you a, let me just give you a microphone. I'll just hold it here. Oh, OK. Can Mom? you hold it as well? I'll hold it here, all right. Oh, OK. I just want to tell you one thing about Prash. It's so different now. When he was born, he was born March 27, evening half past five. So it's not your birthday yet? <laughs> he was born half past five. It didn't give me any trouble. He was, bo he was born within half an hour. We're busy, I, mate, sorry. When I went hospital, I went five o'clock hospital. The ambulance arrived. I was in a hospital about within 15 minutes. The nurse just came running around, says, baby is ready to come out. He was born half past five. And when my husband came, well, too late, boy. The baby's born now. <laughs> <laughs> And he went to get, he went Tesco just to get yeah. whiskey? Yeah, he went Tesco. Rather than waiting for me, he went, I'm going to go to Tesco and get whiskey. Yeah, he had no idea that I was going to go hospital. So when he came home, my mother-in-law said, your wife is gone in the hospital now. She was in a pain, she's gone. So when he came there, too late, the baby was born, the baby boy. And a legend was born. And he was very quiet baby. But now, he's, <laughs> but now he's opposite. Uh -huh. Now he's opposite. Super mum, thank you so much. <laughs> cool dudes, ladles and jelly spoons. So we've got the Gen on Prash Super Travels. We got a fantastic thing. This goes in the bottle, does yeah, it? Yeah. So the best way Can to get it in the bottle is I'll show you uh, from the bottom. Yeah. Uh, from the bottom, it says Prash Super. Yeah. So what you do is, oh, do you want if I can do it? Where? The best way to do it, because I want your name to be shining so if you look here where it says uncle tim i don't want to see fresh super when i look in the bottle you want to see fresh super yeah oh okay oh in that case then because you know what i normally do is i do it from the bottom to the top so yeah. that way the first thing you're going to see is the uncle tim yeah i don't want to see fresh super right then you'll do it the other way because then i'll know who it came from hey come on no, there's not many bottles like this in tannery oh, i get them every day every day so you i got four i, I get, got four uh, yesterday tim i have um about 18 of these bottles left, and uh, I'm going to give them around Tenerife. Cool now, I want to ask you, where can I get something like this in Tenerife, like these kind of bottles? Chinese shop. Chinese shop, yeah. Because yeah. my birthday gold, I was trying to give like um, about 100. I've got 20 on me, but um, go. And then you get the corkscrew thing. Message in uh, a bottle. Another thing that we do, guys, uh, if you've got um, a member of the family who is no longer with us, as you know, or may not know, I've just said goodbye to a friend of mine last week, unfortunately. Oh, dear. Um, what I do, guys, is, you know, if you've got a family member that... Oh, I've got it, Tim. Don't want to get rid of my sapphires. That's the kidney. Yeah, so guys, if you do see me on the island and you want a bottle, and maybe if you're a family member that passed away or something, what I do with these bottles, as, as well as just giving to people, is... I hide them. With the corkscrew here, I attach it to a balloon, so if you want to send a message to your family in heaven, sort of thing, you know. Uh, it's all free, I just do it to make people happy every day. Uh, we've given out... Do you chuck them in the sea as well? Yeah, I have done. Yeah. Uh, I did a... Uh, I did an amazing video for my friend Jack Garton who passed and also Rosemary who passed as well. Um, what we did is we had my drone do a 360 around me while I was throwing the message in the, uh, in the sea and it was the most emotional video that I've ever made. Yeah. But then mes many people messaged me saying we love the creativity behind what you're doing and I wanted to change lives. So I leave uh, these bottles every week 
Uh, I leave them all across the UK. I'm doing my deliveries mainly in Banbury, Oxfordshire side. I leave them all around there. I leave them in Coventry. Um, anywhere I go, really, I just leave them around. And also suicide points as well, which is very important. Uh, I also leave them there. I've actually had somebody reach out to me once. I've put um, my number on the bottle and said, if you ever feel like you need a friend, give me a call. Someone actually reached out to me and it changed my life and theirs. Cool, dude. Yeah. So I'm going to make some of these more. So ladies and gentlemen, we're over the hour now. So we're going to finish up and uh, shoot back to the car. Cheers, guys. What we're going to do, we're going to leave mum here with Chris and then Prash is going to shoot me back in his scooter to the car and then he's going to come back and pick her up. You don't mind, do you, mum? Mum? No, I don't. No, I don't mind. All right. And uh, that's not going to happen. I'm just joking. <laughs> you sure? No, no, I'm not sure. I'm just joking. That's not a problem. Um, I, I was... gave Kevin uh, Scott someone. I gave him a lift on my scooter before. <laughs> he had a bad foot. He did. I've got a bad foot, look. Bad foot. So get on. No, no, no. Anyway, ladles and jelly spoons, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining us today. I just want to thank Prash. At 5.30, we can wish him happy birthday, not before. How old are you, Prash? 38. 38. 38. That used to be my uh, chest size. That's about my waist It's about my waist size now, isn't it? An arch out. Oh, they won't be, I mean, 38 inches, maybe, yeah, inches. I am, I am a 38. Are you? Oh, I'm probably a 45 then. There you go. I'm probably an, an 104 centimetres. Anyway, apart from that, I'd like to thank each and every one of you. Sorry I didn't get to your messages. Let me just have a quick look at the messages to see if there's anything really important. If you said something you want an answer to, do it now. Uh, Craig, thanks. All passwords are already complex. What's your name? Jim Beam. Bring out the hankies. <laughs> uh, your password consisting of upper lowercase. Only if you're taking a taxi to and from the airport, you phone them to collect you, they can add a levy. Yeah, the phone, uh, if you do um, phone a taxi, it's 95 cents, I think, is the levy. Alistair Hickman says, good morning. Cole's on. Cole. Yeah. Uh, Ash is on. Sounds like a nightmare. Glad you sorted it, Prash. Where is Webby? Is he still around? Uh, Webby's not on. He's, take, he's taking his Orcus whalings on. Tim is a leg end. <laughs> Uh, Siobhan, catch up later, enjoy your drinks. Someone hack me, not guilty, we did that one. Okay, um, what we'll do is um, I'll put, I'll put your, your spanner back, David, when I uh, get home, because I can check your email. I'm checking that, I'm putting it on the right one, uh, the email address, but there you go. And Alan Shepard saying happy birthday. Thank you very Lee much. Lee Shaw saying good morning, he'll be here in six weeks, Lee. Anyway, so um, I'll like, also I'm just going to turn you around so Chris can give us a wave. Don't forget, if you're uh, in Rotherham, go and buy a big TV off him. Yeah. Or just walk in and see me on the TV. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Thanks, Chris, for coming over. Uh, and your Mrs. Dion. Dion. Give, yeah. her, give her my our love. Yeah. Prash and Super Mum. Thanks for coming on. How long are you here for? Welcome. Sorry. Uh, the 1st of April. The 1st of April. Yeah. April Fool's Day. <laughs> oh, my. I just realised that. Why did you make me book it on that day? The Are you trying to say that's something? That's Sunday, right? Is it Sunday or Monday? We go on Thursday the 4th. I, I don't know, but what Thursday I know the 1st yeah? April will be going back. The 1st of April. I think she's trying to call me a fool. No, no. Anyway, so um, so will we see you on Friday? Freaky Friday? Possibly. I'll try my absolute best. You don't have to. I mean, it's a long way. Okay. And you can't get your scooter on the bus, I don't think. I'm going to try and persuade Dion to come. Yeah? Yeah. Anyway, if you come in on Friday, if you get there early and you get a seat, you can do bingo and sticky 13. I'll be there about 5.30, so there won't be any seats when I arrive. But as soon as sticky 13 finishes, most of the people... You were on late, weren't you, last uh, I was, Friday. I was, yeah. You were about like, six, were you, 27? I was, yeah. I mean, so, got, uh, uh, but I should be all right this Friday. I'll try my best to come. Um, I've still got a ton of content. Yesterday's content still needs to be edited and uploaded, so I'm going to do that when I get back to the apartment. Okay, okay. Don't forget... Uh, if you are coming to any of these events, let me know. Just go to timothydow.com slash events. Give us your uh, a phone number and your email address. I will not share them whatsoever, so it's, uh, it is spam free. Uh, if you want to be on my um, newsletter, you can actually go into the description here and get my cookbook, which signs you up for the newsletter. But as lots of people know, I never send a newsletter out. You might get one a year, if, if that, right? But you can, at least you get the cookbooks, they're free. And uh, it's all automated, so I don't have to do anything. You go in, you get a reply, you've got to say, yes, this is me, and then you'll get a link to my cookbooks. 
and uh, they're not really cookbooks, they're just stuff that I eat. And don't forget, I'm doing the 24 hour loop, which is a daily vlog now on bits in between using the hat cam. So here's some footage. This is for the 24 hour loop, ladles and jelly spoons. I'm here with Prash and Super Mum and Chris Godfrey. And um, we're just finishing the live and you'll see this this afternoon. You'll have seen that just now. There you go. Double bubble. Lovely jubbly and all that stuff. <laughs> And anybody who uh, is watching Tim for the first time, hit that bell for notifications. It's really, really useful. At least that way for me, I know when he's making videos, I'll get a message straight away. If you guys want to know where he is, what he's doing, hit that bell for notifications. It's very important. I'd like to thank Prash for pushing the channel and also for being a good friend. Thank you, mate. Thanks, man. Me too. And I don't really need any more subscribers, but if you want to be notified, subscribe, press the bell, but only subscribe if you're gonna watch. I don't, I've got enough, I've got 7,000 people that have subscribed and don't watch. <laughs> right, okay, um, this is Tim, Prash, Super Mum and Chris for Living With Emma Centenary signing off. See ya, would wanna be ya. And we are 